All right, thank you, Brian. Thousands of former Delphi employees are one step closer to finally getting money they've been trying to recover for nearly 13 years. This is after the House passed a bill to restore their pensions. Two News reporter Riley Phillips joining us now live here in the studio. Riley, if I'm a Delphi employee, what does this mean? Brooke, thousands of former salary Delphi employees saw their pensions cut when the company declared bankruptcy and eventually went out of business. Now, the Susan Muffley Act aims to restore those benefits and ensure sure those former employees are finally paid what they earned. The Delphi salary retirees worked hard, had great careers, played by the rules, and had the rug pulled out from underneath them. 13 years after the bankruptcy and closure of car parts manufacturer Delphi, including several plants here in the Miami Valley, salaried employees are finally starting to see some change. For the first time, we have good reason to have real hope uh, that uh, our government will see us as uh, just as valuable as those who were in the unions. After years of fighting to get those benefits restored, including a legal battle taken all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court, lawmakers in the U.S. House finally passed the Susan Muffley Act Wednesday. This bill would make up the difference between what was earned and expected and what they actually received. Former salaried employees would receive back pay in a lump sum, as well as full benefits moving forward. This is a, an issue of fairness, of justice, and uh, we're just super thrilled that we were able to get it to the House floor. And a victory for former employees who had to sacrifice so much over the last decade. Personally, I still remember hiring in and the meeting with our personnel staff in 1968 explaining what we could expect if we worked until retirement. I was thrilled to sign that contract and I worked every day after that to honor it. And lawmakers are calling this a major bipartisan effort. They're hopeful it can make it through the Senate. President Joe Biden has already expressed his commitment to signing the bill if it reaches his desk. In the studio, Riley Phillips, 2 News, working for you.